the Steam Link, a device born of the ill-fated SteamOS, merger of Steam's big picture mode, subsequent game stream offering, and the little black box that could. Given its 2015 design, will it hold up to the demands of today? With its sleek black exterior, wireless 802.11ac, three USB 2.0 ports, Bluetooth 4.0, HDMI out, and support for a litany of controllers and accessories, the Steam Link provides a wide variety of connectivity. With Valve remaining tight-lipped on the exact hardware specifications, officially it has an ARM 7 processor, runs a custom version of Linux, and is capable of streaming content to your TV at 1080p 60 frames per second, thanks to its hardwired H.264 encoder. Compared to other streaming devices such as the Roku or even the more direct competitor, the Nvidia Shield, the Steam Link sorely misses any baked in, non-gaming streaming capability. In opposition to the Shield, it has no Netflix, YouTube, Spotify, or even App Store support. Coupled with the lack of 4K or HDR support, this machine was built to do one thing. Bring PC gaming to your couch. While the Link does not have built-in Netflix support, the device's web browser offers a fairly easy workaround for typical media consumption. Its main advantage over the Shield? Price. At less than $50, the Link offers easy access living room gaming on the cheap. The same cannot be said of the Nvidia Shield family. At $300 for the base model, the Link has three USB ports. Three. When considering couch-based gaming, it isn't unreasonable to imagine four people huddled up on the couch playing Castle Crashers, Rocket League, or even Overcooked. In order to achieve this setup, the user is left hunting down a USB hub. If you create a system designed to enable console functionality, you'd think the four-player setup would be a priority. Not this time. For audio connectivity, when paired with the Steam controller, the only default option for audio output is through the included HDMI cable. The idea is you are running the Steam Link directly to your home audio system or TV, with no audio jack on either the device or the controller. Again, the user is left faced with a workaround. There are three major options available for remedying this oversight. First. Most USB audio dongles are compatible with the Link and would allow you to continue to use the Steam controller. This would force you to sit as close to the Link as your headphone cable will allow. Second, however, you can use an HDMI audio extractor, which can be found at Amazon for around $25 US. And again, you will be limited by the length of your headphone cable. The third and last option for audio is to forego the Steam controller entirely and switch to an Xbox One controller with a headphone jack. The catch? You're now limited by the length of the USB cable used for the controller. But hey, you can hear the game. Which leads us to the Steam controller. It's bundled with a wireless USB dongle and is capable of being directly connected via cable. It runs off of two AA batteries, which can run on for north of 50 hours of playtime. The controller works perfectly with both the Link or any Steam-enabled computer. The haptic feedback coupled with the touchpads feels awkward yet intriguing most times. It will take some getting used to. Without apps, proper audio flexibility, or the possibility of 4K support, this device feels stunted, held back, even if app support and 4K were to be added at a later date, the Link would be limited to a 4K 24 frames per second image. At 1080p, occasionally pixelation and temporary hiccups occur on a purely wireless stream. For best results, a wired connection for both the PC and the Link are preferable. With a new iteration, the newly coveted 4K stream might be possible, which would leave Valve's current Link in limbo. Is the Steam Link still relevant a year on? If you only care about getting a 1080p gaming content to your TV with minimal aliasing or lag, yes. If easy media streaming doesn't matter to you, yes. If you don't have an extra PC to use for streaming, yes. It all depends on your personal setup and needs. It's best to keep in mind, the Link wasn't designed to be an all-in-one solution. 
It's designed to do one thing, gain. Anything else is an afterthought. If you like the video, you know where that button is. If you're interested in purchasing the Steam Link or its controller, please use the affiliate links below. It helps us continue to make quality content. Please feel free to check out our other videos and subscribe for future content. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, what I want to tell you, like if you liked something, like you could do something like stop, ask you, and the little black blocks the blah, blah. Keep your hands higher. Okay. Higher? Like, ooh, marionettes. You lost your energy. Oh. Okay. You're excited. Right. You're telling the classroom full of people. Little kids like the Steam Link, yay! Oh, okay. Hardware specifications. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh. But it shows you your desktop. Okay. I feel like it could be done better. How? How would you get? How would you get? I'm not gonna get. I'm recording right now. I know. Fun. No, no. Let me continue recording. <laughs> not debate time. This is talking in front of the camera time. Four point oh Bluetooth and right, doesn't it? Thanks to its hardwired HT H two six four encoder. It looks better if your hands are higher. Good, just a little bit, just like three inches higher with your keep it keep the little over the box, over the box. Okay, at 1080p, occasionally picks what? When we started recording this camera, it wasn't recording the whole time. Yours was, mine wasn't. Whoops, are we good? Uh, yeah, we're good. Were you paying attention? I was.